Good evening. Welcome to our, our moment of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Sovereign God, you create us. You breathe into us life for relationships. You edify humanity, bringing together two as one, man and woman. Help us, compel us, revive us, so as to walk in your footsteps, dear Jesus, our Lord and Savior, so as to reflect your glory. Help us to sing your praises as we offer our prayers, covered in humility. In Jesus' name, amen. sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth came to save us focused on is the second chapter of Genesis, beginning with the 18th verse. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air, and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called them, Every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and the birds of the air, to every animal of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. Oh, who 
dwell in dark and sin My hand will save I who made the stars of night I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to Shall I say Here I am Lord Is it I Lord I have heard you Calling in the Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you. These are prayers that you have shared with us. We thank you for these prayers. May they continue to rise from your hearts, from your minds, from your lips, to God's ears. Gracious Lord, you put before us in Holy Scripture, Adam and Eve, partners, one from the other, created 
to be in relationship. We thank you, Lord. Help us in our part to be faithful in our relationships. That as you make two, one, that no one separates what God brings together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, all things created in the sky and on earth and the water are given for the care of humanity. This is a sacred trust that you gift to us. Help us to be diligent and steadfast and faithful in our care for this, your creation, and the creatures therein. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, you send your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to earth. And he takes away our sins. And he shows us a path in which to follow him. And this path glorifies you. Help us, Lord, to walk in the steps of Jesus, glorifying you. In our th thoughts, words, and deeds, by what we do and what we do not do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we are your children, each and every one of us, created in your image by your hand, by your breath. Sustain us with a child's trust, with a heart of kindness and love, as we prepare to enter your kingdom. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, teaching us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 